Gladys Cooper was a renowned British actress who left an indelible mark on the film and theater industry. Born in Whitty, 1988, she began her career on the stage at a young age and quickly became known for her exceptional talent and versatility. Over the course of her career, Cooper appeared in numerous films, including Rebecca, The Philadelphia Story, and My Fair Lady. She was nominated for three Academy Awards and won an honorary Oscar in 1968 for her contributions to the film industry. In addition to her work in film, Cooper was also a highly respected stage actress, performing in productions both in London and on Broadway. She was appointed a Dane Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1967 for her services to drama. Despite facing many challenges and obstacles throughout her career, Cooper persevered and became one of the most accomplished and respected actresses of her time. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and directors to this day. Gladys Cooper was a British actress born in 1988 and active in the industry for over seven decades. She began her career on the stage before transitioning to film and television. Cooper was nominated for three Academy Awards and was made a Dame by Queen Elizabeth II. Do you know any interesting facts about Gladys Cooper that not many people are aware of? Perhaps a little known anecdote or a fascinating detail about her life or career. Is there a particular scene or performance of Gladys Cooper's that has stayed with you over the years? A moment that had a profound impact on you or changed the way you think about something? We would love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. Tell us in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will share some surprising, funny, and even shocking facts about Gladys Cooper. From her early years on the stage to her final roles in film and television, there's so much to discover about this incredible actress. So be sure to keep watching. Gladys Cooper, a prominent British actress, was born in Weddy Year 88 and had a memorable career that spanned over seven decades. She was raised in a family that was no stranger to the spotlight, as her father was a successful architect and her mother was an artist. This background exposed her to a creative environment from a young age. Cooper's upbringing was strict, but it instilled in her a strong work ethic and discipline. She attended a convent school where she discovered her passion for acting. Her early exposure to the craft was through amateur theatricals, which she participated in with her family and friends. One of Cooper's most significant influences was her older sister Muriel, who was also an actress. Muriel encouraged Gladys to pursue a career in acting and helped her secure her first professional role. Another key influence was Sir Herbert Beerbohm Tree, a renowned actor manager at the time. He recognized Cooper's talent and cast her in several of his productions, providing her with invaluable experience and exposure. Cooper's early career was marked by her versatility and adaptability. She excelled in various roles, from classical Shakespearean plays to contemporary comedies. Her ability to captivate audiences with her performances earned her a reputation as a talented and dedicated actress. Throughout her career, Cooper worked with many notable figures in the theater and film industries, including Lawrence Olivier, John Gielgud, and Orson Welles. These collaborations further enriched her craft and solidified her status as a respected and admired actress. Gladys Cooper was a prominent English actress who significantly influenced the film industry during her era and beyond. She began her career in the early 19s and remained active until the 1960s, making a substantial contribution to Hollywood. Cooper's impact was evident in her versatile portrayals of various characters which showcased her exceptional acting skills. She excelled in both stage and screen performances, earning three Oscar nominations throughout her career. During her time, Cooper was known for her elegant and sophisticated demeanor, which influenced the way actresses presented themselves in the industry. She was a role model for many aspiring actors and actresses, inspiring them to take their craft seriously and to strive for excellence. Cooper's work extended beyond acting, as she also directed and produced several films. Her directorial debut, My Own Executioner, was released in 1947 and received critical acclaim. As a producer, she was involved in the making of several successful films, including Rebecca and The Philadelphia Story. Cooper's influence on the film industry can still be felt today. Her legacy as a talented actress and filmmaker continues to inspire and motivate new generations of actors and filmmakers. Her contributions to Hollywood have left an indelible mark on the industry, and her work will undoubtedly continue to be celebrated for years to come.
As a young girl, Gladys Cooper discovered her passion for acting. She was raised in a family that valued the arts, and her mother, an amateur actress, introduced her to the stage. When Gladys was just 16, she made her professional debut in a London production of The Real Little Princess. From that moment on, she knew she wanted to be an actress. Gladys's career spanned over seven decades, and she became one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. She appeared in numerous plays, films, and television shows, and worked with some of the greatest directors and actors of her era. One pivotal experience that fueled Gladys's desire to pursue acting was her work in the groundbreaking play The First Actress, which was written by her close friend and mentor Elizabeth Robbins. The play was a feminist call to arms that explored the challenges and triumphs of women in the theater. Gladys's powerful performance as the lead actress earned her critical acclaim and solidified her place as a leading lady of the stage. Throughout her career, Gladys remained dedicated to her craft and continued to push herself as an actress. She was known for her versatility and her ability to bring depth and complexity to every role she played. Her passion for acting never waned, and she continued to inspire and captivate audiences until the end of her career. Gladys Cooper, a prominent figure in the theater and film industry, received two Tony Award nominations for Best Actress for her performances in The Chalk Garden and A Passage to India. In the 1958 film Separate Tables, she played the role of Mistress Railton Bell, which was interesting as both Kathleen Nesbitt and Wendy Hiller, her co-stars, shared her real name. Gladys Cooper is one of the 27 actresses who have been nominated for an Academy Award for their performances in a musical specifically for My Fair Lady. Other notable actresses who have received similar nominations include Bessie Love, Grace Moore, Jean Hagen, Marjorie Rambo, Dorothy Dandridge, Deborah Kerr, Rita Moreno, Julie Andrews, Debbie Reynolds, Peggy Wood, Carol Channing, Kay Medford, Barbara Streisand, Liza Minnelli, Roni Blackley, Lily Tomlin, and Margaret, Leslie Ann Warren, Amy Irving, Nicole Kidman, Queen Latifah, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Renee Zellweger, Jennifer Hudson, Penelope Cruz, Anne Hathaway, and Emma Stone. These nominations and performances are a testament to the talent and dedication of Gladys Cooper and her fellow actresses who have made significant contributions to the world of entertainment. Their work has resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the industry. Gladys Cooper, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Born in Whitty, 1988, she grew up in a time when opportunities for women in the entertainment industry were limited. Despite these obstacles, Cooper persevered and made a name for herself. Financial struggles were a constant hurdle for Cooper. As a young actress, she often struggled to make ends meet. However, she refused to let this hold her back. Instead, she used her resourcefulness to find creative solutions to her financial problems. For instance, she took on various acting jobs, no matter how small or insignificant they seemed. She also began directing and producing her own plays, which helped her gain more control over her career and finances. The entertainment industry was also skeptical of Cooper's abilities. At the time, many people believed that women were not capable of handling the demands of acting, let alone producing and directing their own work. However, Cooper refused to let this prejudice discourage her. She worked tirelessly to hone her craft and prove her doubters wrong. Cooper's determination and hard work paid off. She went on to have a successful career in both theater and film. Over time, she became known for her exceptional talent and versatility, earning numerous accolades and awards. Despite facing many challenges, Cooper remained resilient and committed to her passion. Her story serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and actresses everywhere, reminding them that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. Gladys Cooper, a seasoned actress, started her Hollywood career at the age of 52 with the 1940 film Rebecca. She shared the screen with Jennifer Jones in three films, The Song of Bernadette, Love Letters, and Madame Bovary. In the 1958 film Separate Tables, Cooper portrayed Mistress Railton Bell, a role reminiscent of her character in the 1942 film Now Voyager. In both films, she played a haughty and overbearing mother to a maladjusted daughter, essayed by Bette Davis in Now Voyager and Deborah Carr in Separate Tables. Her ability to convincingly portray such similar characters at different stages of her career showcases her acting prowess.
Gladys Cooper, a British actress, had several breakthrough moments in her long and successful career. In 1905, she made her stage debut in The Wilderness, which marked the beginning of her journey in the world of acting. Her performance was praised by critics and peers alike, setting the stage for her future success. In 1913, Cooper starred in her first film, A Night's Divorce. This role showcased her versatility as an actress and helped her gain recognition in the burgeoning film industry. Her performance was lauded for its nuance and depth, with critics noting her ability to convey complex emotions on screen. One of Cooper's most significant breakthroughs came in 1935 when she starred in the film The Rise of Catherine the Great. Her portrayal of the Russian Empress was groundbreaking, earning her critical acclaim and solidifying her status as a leading actress. Cooper's performance was hailed for its strength and intelligence, with critics praising her ability to bring depth and humanity to the character. In 1967, Cooper received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in My Fair Lady. Her performance as Mistress Higgins was widely recognized as one of her finest, showcasing her exceptional talent and versatility as an actress. Cooper's co-star, Audrey Hepburn, praised her for her professionalism and grace, noting that she brought a sense of dignity and class to every scene. Throughout her career, Cooper's work was marked by its depth, nuance, and intelligence. Her ability to convey complex emotions and bring depth to her characters helped her to transcend the boundaries of her time and leave a lasting impact on the world of acting. Her contributions to the industry continue to be cherished by audiences and peers alike, serving as a testament to her enduring talent and legacy. Gladys Cooper, a respected actress, played Mistress Railton Bell in the film Separate Tables, alongside fellow Oscar winners David Niven, Burt Lancaster, and Wendy Hiller, as well as nominees Deborah Carr and Cooper herself. She also portrayed Professor Henry Higgins' mother in the television version of Pygmalion and the movie My Fair Lady. Cooper's career included appearances in two Best Picture Academy Award winners Rebecca and My Fair Lady. Her contributions to the world of film and television have left a lasting impact and her performances continue to be cherished by audiences today. Despite not winning an Oscar herself, Cooper's work alongside so many other accomplished actors and in such highly regarded films speaks to her enduring legacy in the entertainment industry. Gladys Cooper, a renowned British actress, brought depth and realism to her characters through her unique creative process. She was known for her meticulous preparation, often immersing herself in the character's background and worldview. Cooper believed in staying true to the script, and her ability to deliver lines with precision and emotion was one of her distinctive strengths. Her style was subtle yet powerful, favoring understated delivery over grand gestures. This approach allowed her to create nuanced and believable characters that resonated with audiences. Cooper's work was a reflection of her personal experiences and worldview. Having lived through two world wars, she brought a sense of resilience and determination to her roles, which was particularly evident in her portrayal of strong-willed women. Despite facing numerous challenges in her career, including gender and age discrimination, Cooper remained committed to her craft. Her perseverance and dedication served as an inspiration to many, and her unique approach to acting continues to influence actors today. Cooper's legacy is a testament to her artistic vision and process, which transcended the boundaries of her time and continues to captivate audiences. Gladys Cooper had a successful career as an actress, appearing in five films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. Two of these films, Rebecca and My Fair Lady, won the category. She was also a mother to actors Joan Buckmaster and John Buckmaster with Herbert Buckmaster. One of Cooper's notable film roles was as Mistress Henry Vale in Now Voyager. However, the production faced several challenges, including weather delays during location shooting, Bette Davis illnesses, and Cooper's difficulties remembering her lines due to her long nights at the USA. Davis' slow working style also contributed to the film falling behind schedule. Despite these challenges, Cooper delivered a memorable performance in the film. Gladys Cooper was a significant figure in the world of theater and film, leaving a lasting impact through her influential acting career. She began her stage career in the early 1900s and made her film debut in 1913. Over the years, Cooper's captivating performances won her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Cooper's contributions to the industry are vast, and she has inspired many actors and actresses throughout her career. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance has left an indelible mark on the acting world.
According to renowned actress Meryl Streep, Gladys Cooper's body of work is a testament to her remarkable talent and versatility. She was a trailblazer in her time, and her influence can still be felt today. One of Cooper's most notable contributions to the industry was her ability to adapt to changing trends and techniques. She began her career on the stage, where she mastered the art of live performance. When film became a popular medium, Cooper transitioned seamlessly into film acting, demonstrating her remarkable range as an actress. Her performances in films such as Now, Voyager, and The Dark Mirror showcase her ability to captivate audiences on the big screen. Cooper's influence on storytelling is also significant. Her ability to bring complex characters to life helped to shape the way stories were told in both theater and film. Her performances often explored the depths of human emotion, shedding light on the complexities of the human experience. As a result, Cooper's work has inspired countless writers and directors to create more nuanced and layered stories. In addition to her contributions to the industry, Cooper was also a trailblazer for women in Hollywood. She was one of the first actresses to start her own production company, giving her greater control over her career and paving the way for future generations of actresses. Overall, Gladys Cooper's impact and influence on the industry cannot be overstated. Her contributions to theater and film have left a lasting legacy, inspiring generations of actors, writers, and directors. As industry expert and historian Ann Thompson notes, Gladys Cooper's work is a reminder of the power of storytelling and the importance of nuanced, layered performances. Her influence will continue to resonate for generations to come. Gladys Cooper was not only a successful actress, but also a grandmother to Sheridan Morley, Annabel Morley, Wilton Morley, Emma Hardy, and Justine Hardy. She was also once married to Robert Hardy, who became her ex-husband and the father of her two daughters-in-law, Emma and Justine. With Sir Neville Pearson, she had a daughter named Sally Pearson, who became a costume designer. Her impact as an actress extended beyond her own career, leaving a lasting legacy for future generations of her family. Outside of her acting career, Gladys Cooper led a private and traditional family life. She was a devoted mother to her three children, including actresses Jenny Linden and Sally Ann Field. Cooper's strong family values often translated into her work as she frequently chose roles that depicted strong and nurturing mothers or caregivers. Cooper was also known for her philanthropic efforts and dedication to various causes. She was a prominent supporter of the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund, which provides financial and emotional support to members of the Royal Air Force and their families. Cooper's involvement with the organization was a testament to her deep respect and appreciation for those who served in the military. In addition to her work with the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund, Cooper was also passionate about animal welfare. She was a longtime supporter of the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and used her platform as a public figure to raise awareness about animal cruelty and advocate for their protection. Despite her traditional upbringing and conservative values, Cooper was a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry. She was one of the first actresses to form her own production company, which allowed her to have more control over her career and the role she played. Cooper's entrepreneurial spirit and determination to succeed on her own terms were an inspiration to many women in the industry. Overall, Gladys Cooper's personal values and interests played a significant role in informing her work both on and off the screen. Her dedication to her family, philanthropic efforts, and advocacy for women's rights and animal welfare made her a respected and admired figure in both her personal and professional life. Gladys Cooper had a distinguished career as a character actress with notable appearances in Pygmalion and My Fair Lady as Mistress Higgins. Her performances in Rebecca, now Voyager and My Fair Lady have earned her a place in the National Film Registry. The book actresses of a certain character 40 familiar Hollywood faces from the 30s to the 50s features a short biography on Cooper highlighting her movie career. Gladys Cooper was a highly respected actress known for her work in theater, film, and television. Her career spanned several decades, and she left a lasting impact on the industry. She was a true professional who always gave her best in every performance, inspiring many aspiring actors. For those who wish to follow in her footsteps, Cooper would likely advise them to focus on their craft, hone their skills, and never stop learning. She might also encourage them to be patient and persistent, as success in the industry often takes time and hard work. Cooper's own career is a testament to the importance of versatility and adaptability. 
She was able to transition seamlessly from the stage to the screen, and she remained relevant and in demand throughout her long career. Aspiring actors would do well to follow her example and be open to new opportunities and challenges. Looking to the future, Cooper's legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors. Her work will no doubt continue to resonate with audiences for many years to come. As for her own future contributions, it's safe to say that she made the most of her time in the industry, leaving behind a body of work that will be cherished for generations. In short, Gladys Cooper was a true pioneer and a trailblazer in the world of acting. Her legacy is a lasting one, and she will always be remembered as one of the greats. Aspiring actors would do well to learn from her example and strive to achieve the same level of excellence in their own careers. Gladys Cooper, born to Charles and Mabel Cooper, was a notable British actress. She became the mother-in-law of Robert Morley through her daughter's marriage. In Italy, Cooper's films were often dubbed by Giovanna Scotto and Tina Latanzi. She was also dubbed by Rosetta Calavetta, Lola Braccini, and Wanda Tetney in the film My Fair Lady. Her acting career spanned several decades, and her performances were enjoyed by many. Gladys Cooper, a talented British actress, graced the stage and screen for over seven decades, leaving an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Born in 1888, she discovered her passion for acting at a young age and honed her craft in various London theaters before transitioning to film. Throughout her career, Cooper demonstrated her versatility by excelling in various genres, including drama, comedy, and horror. She captivated audiences with her powerful performances and unique ability to bring characters to life. In addition to her work in film, Cooper also made significant contributions to television and the theater world. Despite facing numerous challenges, including the changing landscape of the entertainment industry and personal hardships, Cooper persevered and continued to innovate. She was one of the first actresses to transition from the stage to the screen, helping to pave the way for future generations of performers. Gladys Cooper's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Her passion, creativity, and determination serve as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the enduring impact of artistic expression. Her life and career stand as a testament to the importance of following one's dreams and never giving up, even in the face of adversity. In the end, Cooper's story is a powerful reminder of the transformative power of creativity and the indelible mark that a single individual can leave on the world. Her enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to her talent, passion, and unwavering commitment to her craft. Gladys Cooper, a prominent British actress, portrayed Beatrice Lacey in the film Rebecca, which won the Best Picture Oscar in 1940. Interestingly, her co-stars in this film, Sir Lawrence Olivier and George Sanders, also appeared in other Best Picture winners Olivier in Hamlet and Sanders in All About Eve. Cooper herself was later recognized in the 1967 Queen's Birthday Honors list with the title of Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire for her contributions to drama. In addition to her acting career, Cooper had a connection to the literary world through her personal life. Stevie Smith, a renowned British novelist and poet, served as the secretary to Cooper's second husband, Sir Neville Pearson. Throughout her career, Cooper demonstrated her dedication and talent in the field of drama, earning her the esteemed DB title. Her work alongside notable actors and her association with influential literary figures further solidified her status as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Gladys Cooper acted as Lawrence Olivier's sister in the 1940 film Rebecca and then as his wife in the 1941 movie That Hamilton Woman. Her remarkable career also included writing an autobiography titled Without Veils. In Rebecca, she played Beatrice Lacey alongside other Oscar winners and nominees such as Olivier, Joan Fontaine, George Sanders, Judith Anderson, Alfred Hitchcock, and herself. Cooper's significant contributions to the film industry were recognized with three Oscar nominations throughout her career. Gladys Cooper is best known for her role as Mistress Henry Vale in Now Voyager and as Mistress Railton Bell in Separate Tables, where she played an overbearing mother in both films 16 years apart. Her portrayal of these characters showcased her talent for playing dominant and authoritative figures. Cooper's career spanned several decades, and she continued to work well into her later years. A memorial service was held for her at St. Paul's Church, Covent Garden on December 18, 1971, in recognition of her significant contributions to the world of film and theater. 
Interestingly, both Kathleen Nisbet and Gladys Cooper played the mother of Professor Henry Higgins, as portrayed by Rex Harrison, in separate productions of My Fair Lady. Nesbitt played the role on Broadway, while Cooper played it in the 1964 film adaptation. Despite playing similar characters, Cooper brought her unique style and flair to each role, making her performances stand out. Her ability to embody different characters and make them her own is a testament to her skill as an actress. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will not be forgotten and will continue to be appreciated by audiences for generations to come. Gladys Cooper, known as the stepmother of John Marable, had a remarkable career in Hollywood. She received a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her role as Mistress Henry Vale in the 1942 film Now Voyager. Interestingly, she was the only nominee in her category whose film was not nominated for Best Picture that year. Despite this, Cooper's performance in Now Voyager left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Her portrayal of the strict and traditional Mistress Vale contrasted sharply with the film's other characters, making her performance all the more memorable. Throughout her career, Cooper appeared in a variety of films and plays, showcasing her versatility as an actress. However, it was her role in Now, Voyager that earned her widespread recognition and acclaim. Despite being in a film that was not nominated for Best Picture, Cooper's performance stood out and earned her a well-deserved Oscar nomination. Her talent and dedication to her craft continue to be celebrated and remembered by audiences and industry professionals alike. Gladys Cooper experienced a great personal tragedy when her daughter, Joan Cooper, died at the young age of 26 from a severe case of polio. This loss had a profound impact on Cooper, who was very close to her daughter. In addition to her acting career, Cooper was also known for her humanitarian work, particularly her efforts to raise awareness and funds for polio research and treatment. Her dedication to this cause was no doubt fueled by the personal loss she had suffered. Despite the sadness she experienced, Cooper continued to work in the entertainment industry and made significant contributions to both the theater and film worlds. If you're a fan of classic films and theater, you've likely come across the talented Gladys Cooper. With a career spanning over six decades, Cooper left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From her early days on the London stage to her memorable film performances, Cooper's work continues to captivate audiences today. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Gladys Cooper's legacy. What was your favorite performance of hers and how did it impact you? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. If you found this reflection on Cooper's career enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the lives and work of the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Together, let's celebrate the timeless artistry of Gladys Cooper and the countless others who have brought joy and inspiration to our lives.